Rebecca, to me, the ultimate probe question is why is there anything at all? Why is there something rather than nothing? And everybody likes to give a glib answer to that. And when they do, they betray a lack of understanding of what the word nothing means. Nothing can mean a lot of things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But when you really dig down to ultimately nothing, that is the test of what you really think reality is. Yes. So yes. where are you on that? Yes, yes. So for me, you know, the, the nothing doesn't mean empty space, for example. It doesn't mean um, a world devoid of matter and energy. Um, it, uh, when I think about the, the question, um, it is, uh, uh, well, at two levels. First of all, you know, why do we have the laws of nature that we do? You can't presume mm -hmm. the laws of nature in order to try to answer this question, why is there something rather than nothing? That's why science, as we now have it, um, I'm not saying I'm not uh, saying it can't change, but science as we now have it can't answer that question because all it can do is use the laws of nature that we've so far discovered to say, oh, you know, quantum fluctuations, blah, 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 you know, there is no vacuum, you get matter because quantum fluctuations are un unstable, this sort of thing. Um, but they're presuming the laws of nature. Um, and part of what I think we want to know is, why, are they, why is it these laws of nature? Yeah. And we if you say there's so going to be other. some ultimate laws where we really don't understand, there's something deeper than quantum mechanics that will unite with general relativity, yeah. Yeah. string theory, and then something below that. And, it, it doesn't change the question. It doesn't it, change it, the question. It, at all. I mean, yeah. it, it, if you get down to an ultimate laws, I mean, the, the same things would be, why, why is that the way it is? Exactly right. So why is it the, these laws of, of nature? Rather, unless, you know, we can, who can imagine, but perhaps, and this is the Spinoza's dream, right? Mm -hmm. And it was the dream that Einstein right, so. shared, that uh, when... There must be an answer to this question, right? It's it's too. It, <laughs> yeah, it would yeah, be such a cheat of reality that we keep following. Just seems impossible it's reality. impossible, right? Yeah. I mean, we've we we uh, follow this trail of questions, you know, yeah. that there's 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 always an explanation. So, you know, why is the world this way? Well, we find the laws of nature, and then we find that they're 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 only approximations to the truth. So we find you know laws of greater right, scope right, and right, greater right, intelligibility. Right, right, right. We're following the trail. Um, uh, from the ancient Greeks, from the Ionian, it was the Ionian intuition that that the world is intelligible. And then, if we, you know, if at the very end we just hit this, and there's no explanation right, whatsoever. Right. This is it. It's just brute contingency. These are the laws of nature. Live with it. Right. Um, you know, we should we should be so lucky that we get to that fundamental uh, level. But but to get there, and right. there's no explanation for why these laws rather than another. It, it's just a cheat. It's just to a, postulate that the laws of physics at whatever the deepest level yeah. is the ultimate ground of reality is exactly the same as postulating there's an immaterial, all-powerful, all-knowing, all-good God that is the creator of the universe. Yeah. What is the difference? Yeah, no, I quite agree. It, it is it is the the thing that can't be explained. So, you know, the, the place where questions stop. Here's where your questions have to stop. The trail of intelligibility ends here, kids. So, so, so but I, you know, and I, and I would say if we have bought onto the trail of intelligibility yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. train, if that's our orientation, then it suggests the Spinozist view, the Einsteinian view, that the laws of nature will explain who knows if we're smart enough to understand this, will explain themselves. They're, these these were determined. These were they were determined by themselves. Um, that's the view now that nature, you know, explains itself. It's either that or there's no explanation, or you know, God or something, you know, something outside. So let's stick with the laws of nature. I think there are two pieces to that. One, they have to be shown as long as if it's not gonna be a brute fact, yes. a contingent brute fact that it has to be that way, it can only be that way. Yeah. That was the hope of Einstein and, and, and others. It seems less likely today, but it still could be. But then it has to do something else. It has to be not only why it could only be that way, but why it is. There's yeah. a difference. I, absolutely There's a difference. Right, right. It has to have a self-causation. It has to say, it, it could, this is the only way, but now it has also the power to bring itself into existence, exactly. which seems ridiculous. 
Who knows, right? Who knows? Oh, I mean, it just seems. <laughs> but but if, 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 if in fact it's coherence all the way down, it's intelligibility all the way down, it's reasons all the way down, which is kind of the naturalist point of view, right. then you're sort of pushed to the view that um, the ultimate level of understand of explanation, which we'll probably never get to, and we we can't even conceive we can conceive that it's true, but we can't conceive how it's true. Uh, the ultimate level of of explanation is that these are the laws that that for whatever reason, perhaps their sheer beauty, right? right, right, right. Uh, that's, that's a, a kind that's, of Platonic that's, that's idea. Their sheer beauty. That's a legitimate um, generating power. They determine potential. that both themselves and they just kind of force themselves into existence, that there is a, that that is really the Platonic idea that beauty itself of a mathematical sort, that's right. the way he conceives of it in right. the T Timaeus, that beauty itself has a kind of causative, uh, it, it not only right. explains, but it, but it causes, that causation and, and explanation right. merge into right. one thing. Right. 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 That is, that, you know, that's a possible view, and I think that if you're really um, a naturalist, that is, you have signed on to the intelligibility train, right. you're kind of pushed in that direction. That's yeah. why I'm a Spinozist. My uh, good friend and co-author John Leslie believes that it is value that is both uh, 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 the, the ultimate cause of the universe and that it exists in an independent uh, platonic sense. Yeah. Let, let, let me give you two other explanations and get yeah. your quick reaction to, to the solution to the problem. One is that you do not have to have an ultimate explanation. You can have explanations ad infinitum. Yeah. You, can, you can have an infinite series of causations, one thing causing the other, uh, uh, an infinite series without end. Yeah. Well, you know, that is, and so an infinite series in terms of uh, levels of laws of nature. Yeah, la la laws, laws of, of nature, nature. Or, or, or causations that... Uh, causations, you know, of individual things. Uh, you but know. it's an infinite series. Yeah, that I, that, that I understand, you know, that, that seems quite possible. Time could be infinite and, you know, so you have an infinite series of... of, of yeah, but then you phenomenal. have to ask the yeah. question, why... Why is it this they, infinite they, they, series they, they, rather right, than right, another? Right, right, right. You know, so second, it's, yeah. Second, second uh, a way to attack the problem says, you're mixing up causes within the within the universe yeah. with the universe itself you can't ask the same questions about the totality as you can about any piece yes we it. can who's going to stop me <laughs> I, uh, that's you know if uh, it's just a natural I'm thing for, for for us to ask yeah. right um if if we've made so much progress by demanding explanations explanations about Ugh. this about reality why shouldn't we demand of reality altogether right. an explanation it's terrific I, i'm 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 100 percent with you on that and he here's an argument that i i really don't like uh but some of the really smart people some very good friends make this argument and that is we're, we haven't evolved enough to be able to understand it. Our brains are not capable of, of understanding a few questions. This may be, maybe, maybe yes. it's one of them, it's maybe the only one. Yeah. I really detest that argument because I just don't think it's right. I think with all the things that we've discovered and, and we, we, we can, if, if, that, that that is not the rate limiting yeah, factor. But it's, it's certainly premature to, to conclude that. I mean, we're, um, I think it overprivileges our particular place in the, in cognitive history, if we can't understand it, it can't be understood. Right, right. That, that's my view, and, yeah. and most people disagree with that. And, yeah. and you disagree with that. I mean, and yeah, <laughs> it's it's what is it? It's it's some kind of bias. It's some sort of you right. know bias of right. well, tense my, bias. So we happen to be right here in this moment of time. <laughs> a tensist. Therefore, a tensist. You're a tensist, right? <laughs> I am a tensist. <laughs> uh, but but no, I mean you know uh, the, the 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 ancient Greeks understood a lot, but they sure don't understand as much as we do, and uh, you know try to explain. Relativity theory to Plato, mm -hmm. he lost, <laughs> and you know, so it's it's just we're in a in a particular time, and uh, we there are many things that are inconceivable to us. Hopefully, our descendants will understand them.